Welcome to Starting Out Part 12, and this is a look at facilities. And when I was looking for a purchase a long time ago, I didn't know whether to go for a bunker or a facility. I didn't know what these things did for you or what a hangar did for you. The facility. To start off with, to buy a facility, again, you would go to foreclosures and facilities. And all the facilities, as you see here, are kind of spread out in the north half of that. There's none down in the city. They're all up further north. And I think probably being far, far, far north is probably not a good idea unless you like having to drive a long way to get to things. So I chose Ron's Wind Farm, this one. This one looks close to the city, but it's also on dirt roads, which is difficult in. Ron's Wind Farm is right near a major road and much easier to get into and out of the city from. This one is also, I think, the most expensive. It's just under three million. You're looking between kind of two and a half to three million for most of these facilities. That one's very cheap at one and a half, one and a quarter. But you see they're the far flung ones. There's got to be a reason why they're so cheap. It must be bad being that far out if it's only one and a quarter. It's, it's way, way, way from anywhere you actually want to be. So the facility, you can just buy it straight. You can add a few things to it. You can have a lounge, a security room, an orbital cannon, privacy glass and sleeping quarters. You don't have to add any of that stuff to get the facility to begin with and you may not want any of that stuff ever. The facilities are very clear to spot when you drive past one because they have this oval shaped elevator and to go in either driving or on foot step in the circle looks very impressive Take the time. and here we are in the facility now a couple of things you have to own a facility to own one is this Avenger uh, vertical takeoff and landing helicopter stroke plane which is fun to have but not necessary and the other one is the thruster which is this little jetpack thing which is fun to have, but not necessary. And I will review those separately. It also gives you some parking spaces. Uh, there's five up this end and another four down that end. I think may only have three in there. Pretty sure you get four. Um, so maybe you only get three. So um, you've got parking for eight, maybe nine vehicles here. And I like to put my more militarized things here. So I've got a dune buggy, um, I've got an APC, I've got a tank, I've got this half track with quad cannons on the back. This is the night shark. I'll review all these separately at some point. None of these are necessary to the game. This is just a Jeep but been dressed up to look kind of militarized. <clears throat> it's not really any better than a regular Jeep. It is an off-road vehicle. The insurgent which is perhaps the most useful of all these vehicles and I forget what this thing's called it's called the barrage and it's an unusual one in that it's got um, a machine gun on the front and another machine gun on the back or you could add a grenade launcher the machine guns more useful the, the one on the front you have a full circle of motion the one on the back is fixed only in a backwards facing arc which is annoying to the player using it. There's also very, very little cover or protection for the people using those guns. It's a kind of fun vehicle if uh, you want to go around with a couple of friends shooting a lot of things. You can be shooting out the windows. They can be using their machine guns. I kind of like having it, but I never use it. So that's the top floor up there with the vehicle storage. You don't have to buy the storage. That comes with the facility. What else do you get in the facility? You get 
this little corridor with stuff on it. So first off, there's the security room. You have to add this. You have to pay for this. And if you've been using ammo from your weapons, you can pick up free ammo here. That's kind of useful, but it's never going to pay for itself in terms of the cost of the facility. There's a security cameras here. If you want to go away from your keyboard, you can run through different cameras here. Most of which view the inside of the facility, where there's going to be nobody because it's your facility. That's a view of myself. The corridors. And then I think there's one that actually views outside the facility. That's a lot of cameras. A lot of cameras. All pretty much doing the same thing. And one that views the outside. Now I guess if somebody was sitting out here wanting to attack you, would that be useful? Well, I don't, I don't know. Um, I would probably just... Uh, use the heist teleport trick to go to the to my apartment and then they'd be in the wrong place. So, I don't know, is that a useful thing to have? Probably not. But you can go away from your keyboard while using that. Also in the security room, you have this computer where you can call in strike teams to attack other players. Now, there are no other players in the session right now, so I can't call in strike team. Strike team one is very min minor and is free, and then you have to pay money for the other ones. Are these useful? Well, if someone's really annoying you, you might want to call a strike team on them and try and see if that will make them leave the server. But more effectively, you're just going to leave the server yourself and go to another one. Just find another lobby. So I've used that a couple of times when someone's annoyed me and it's not even all that effective. They can shoot the people attacking them. In here, I've got a bedroom. And again, you don't have to have this, but I've added it. So this makes this a spawnable location. And of course you can change your clothes if you know which of the cupboards to stand in front of. This one. And I've darkened the windows for a bit of privacy. This is the orbital cannon room. And it's probably the most hated thing in the game. And again, there's no one else here right now, so I'm not threatening anybody. But you can log into this and you can call in a manual strike or an automatic strike orbital cannon on another player and try and upset them and annoy them. However, it's going to cost you half a million dollars or three quarters of a million dollars, which seems like a lot of money just to annoy another player. Um, what some players do is they, they call in the strike the strike happens and then they immediately leave the session and they don't have to pay for the strike. Hopefully one day Rockstar will see that this is ridiculous and will fix it by making you pay for the strike before it happens. Um, so people will have to pay the money and it will also, once you've done a strike, I think you've got to wait another day in the game, 48 minutes or 45 minutes, before you can call in a second strike. So even if you do annoy somebody enough, you can only do it once in a game day. I just don't see the point. I've never used it. The main purpose of having the facility, other than storing vehicles, is this. This is the heist room. And the only other place in the game right now that you can call heists from, other than your apartment, is this heist room. And there are three heists available. I've restarted the second of the three heists. With this character, I've completed all three. Uh, that's why I'm getting Lester for no money um, when I want to have stars removed. Um, and the Bogdan problem is probably the best of the three heists in that it's very easy or reasonably easy to do with two people. Each heist in this system has a preparation, uh, which you can do solo, a prep mission. Then there are setup missions, and then you have the actual heist at the end. The setups, you have to have a friend with you. The prep missions, you do not. Uh, they might take a little bit longer by, by yourself, but you can do them by yourself. Um, Strombergs, you have to go and collect the Strombergs. Even though there's only potentially two of you using them, you have to collect four. Riot control van. I think you can do that on your own. Anyway. The Avenger mission is very annoying. Rescue ULP is very annoying. Salvage hard drives, I think that was really annoying. Submarine recon. 
very very easy and then finally you get to the actual mission at the end a lot of people glitch this last final mission the bogdan problem you'll see it pop up it only takes two people one goes inside a submarine one stays up in the air in a helicopter or even just stays out of the helicopter sometimes that works and you don't get attacked and when you complete the mission between you you're sharing about one and a half or one and a quarter million so you can get a million dollars if you're setting the mission up and people then glitch out during the final stage of the mission just after they get paid and they can go straight back and do the mission again i don't believe in glitches i don't believe in cheating like that so i don't do it but i see other people doing it all the time and they think it's wonderfully clever um, if you don't want to bother actually playing the game to earn your money you can do that uh, I don't know the exact timing, but I'm sure you could find it on someone else's channel. You also can have a TV room here. I don't know why on this room of all the rooms I'm in, but this room of all the places I can watch TV, the TV doesn't work. I think it only works when there are other players in the session on this particular location. Maybe that's something to do with the orbital cannon. I don't know. Um, but I can't actually watch TV, there's no TV on, but I'm, I'm still effectively watching TV. I'm sitting in the room with the TV officially on, so I can still go away from keyboard if I want to by doing that. Um, but it's a bit boring. So what does the facility do for you? Well, it allows you to do those heists and it gives you another location once you've done even part of one of the heists, it's a location where you will get an invitation to continue the heist. Have a nice day. Remember all will Apparently not as frequently as the other heists, but you will get the invitation from Lester. And when you get that, you can use this as another location to quickly teleport back to for safety or whatever reason you want to teleport back somewhere. Around this facility, there are also some weapons that you saw some in the security room there. There's a minigun there. Um, you can go and get the ammo for that. So. If you're the kind of person who burn, burn, burns through a ton of ammunition on a ton of different types of weapons, you can pick up the weapons and replenish your ammo. But again, it's never going to pay for the amount of uh, money you pay for the facility itself. Uh, for me, it's kind of a completion thing. I, I want to have everything in the game. And the thruster is kind of fun. The Avenger is mm, kind of fun, but not really necessary. So there's an overview of my facility and this is Ron's wind farm facility I have this on both my characters so I can't show you a different location but I will go on and show you how the thruster and the Avenger work and you have to have the facility to have those two vehicles